How's it going everybody? This is Beach Bush. It's noon right now. I am starving and I want to make a meal quick. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Yoshinoya style rice bowl. And I'm starting with nothing pre-prepared. Although I have a whole bunch of meats in the freezer that's individually packed. So let's get started. This video is brought to you by Mumu, the commission free trading app. You can get up to 15 free shares of stock just for signing up and depositing various amounts of money. Right now, you can even get 5.1% APY on your uninvested cash as long as you deposit more than $500. Check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Turn on the timer over here. We want to preheat my cast iron pan to very hot. And also we have a bowl. We want to cook the vegetables in here. So let's put that on high as well. We need to make the meat first. So I have a eight ounce packaged uh, lamb here. It's frozen. So let's unpack this. Depending on how frozen it is, I can actually cut this without defrosting it. a little bit difficult so we can just defrost it a little bit in the microwave meanwhile we will do a little bit of vegetables i have an orange to eat for later some bok choy carrot and an onion peel all that in the compost i don't actually have to wash this board because i'm going to cook the vegetables put that in the pot and I need the lid. Wash the vegetables. Wash, wash, wash. The onion is not enough vegetables to me just by itself. Although if you go to Yoshinoya, it would only be onion if you don't order the meat and vegetable option. That's smoking. So let's stop that for now. So let's just cut this up into Thin slices, as thin as you can get it. This is probably enough already. So I'll put this back in the fridge. And we want about a quarter onion, so I'm just gonna cut part of it out here. Slice the onion pretty roughly, and we can cook it. Put the onion back. Now we can pre-prepare the rice. I've divided it up into little pieces so I can easily grab one piece. Actually, I want one and a half piece because um, these rice bowls, they really need more rice. 69 seconds. Add a little bit of water in here. So I turned off the heat on the vegetables and we don't actually need it to cook too much. Add a little bit of soy sauce. Mix the onion around. This steams it a little bit. We want to pre-cook the onion because the beef gets done really, really quickly when you put it on. The vegetables look like they're done. I'm thinking I'm gonna eat this just with just with the bowl by itself, so I don't have to wash extra bowls. I'll put the timer over here. Eight minutes. And the onion kind of like needs two rounds of like adding water in order to get it soft enough. You don't want it like caramelized, just, just soft enough so that they're sweet. And we want our salt and pepper ready. And the third time, you want them to be slightly clear, but not all the way clear all the way. Just soften and that's good enough. And then you let it heat up again because the meat is actually super thin. Add a little bit of olive oil. I'm adding the pepper, a little bit of salt. And put the onion in. Mix that around on high heat. I'm using this cast iron pan because it can go really high heat. Uh, whereas on the non-stick, 
I can only go up to like six. So it's, it's basically done. You just gotta make sure nothing is red anywhere. Okay, and then we can just top this off right on top of the meat. And because there's a bunch of delicious juices on this pan, we can add a little bit of water, turn off the heat. We want to get all those juices from, just get it until there's only maybe one tablespoon or, or less in there. This is kind of like a gravy. That's enough. And then you pour it all over the meat. Only one tablespoon, right? Don't, don't like do more than that. If it's like two or three tablespoons, you're just going to make a soup. You know, you don't want a soup. All this, we need to wash the raw stuff that I touch with the chopsticks. I don't um, really reuse a homemade rice beef bowl with extra vegetables on the side. Now this is actually lamb, so Yoshinoya doesn't really sell uh, lamb bowls. Get a clear look of that. And the trick to doing the lamb is on high heat and don't cook it all the way through. Just brown it on both sides so that it's seared. You see, this is seared over here. Mm. Super savory. And the thinner you can cut it, the better. It makes it more tender to eat. And the onion, they're sweet and not spicy when you cook them enough and a little bit crunchy. I think I can make it in 10 minutes if I'm not talking, but I think I finished around 12 or 13 minutes. So there you go, 10 minute lunch over here. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. I just finished eating, let's do cleanup. I put the compost over there. We're gonna wash the bowl. This thing, just dry that. Put that away. I think I can do this in just like a minute. Usually I like to wash right after I eat. And uh, if it's just a few dishes, it doesn't take very long. If you're wondering how I got my lodge pan so nice, I sanded it with various grits starting at 60 grit. And then you work your way up with finer and finer uh, sandpaper and a uh, sandpaper tool. So I'm taking this brush, brush my cast iron with oil so it doesn't rust. And it's ready for next use. I put it in the oven here. Usually. And go and wash this. Put this over here. completely completely done including washing now and uh i ate an orange for dessert and now i'm gonna eat some of this chocolate i usually eat one or two pieces depending on how i feel so today i'll just eat one this is a lint swiss premium chocolate with hazelnut in it that's it until next time